but you know certain maps I wouldn't run it on like junction you know that's that's a really that's a map where like you know pyros are gonna be around every corner pretty much uh, but in terms of something like uh, this map I can't even I can't even fucking hit anybody with that thing how useless is it okay well I can't do much with this oh and now I'm gonna die because I, I got pretty much knocked back into the mini-century. That's what I mean. Mini-centuries completely are... Well, not mini-centuries, but centuries in general. Just your counter. They're there to annoy you. And the mini-centuries do a hell... They apparently don't do a lot of DPS, but they're... Remember, their DPS always hits, basically. Mini-centuries don't miss. And, uh... You know, they're, they're going to finish you off or be really deadly to things like scouts. Which is honestly the worst thing it could have added for uh, the scout. Let's be honest now. Let's try and at least get one hit off. Yep, every time. You know, and you know what? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my mind on the what I talked about this. The problem is when the, that that pyro in particular is running the version of the flare gun that he doesn't actually have to aim it. It will, uh, he can miss me with it, and I'll still get hit by it. I forgot he had that now. So you know what? I guess if they're running that, you can't really do much. Man, pyros are now annoying. But, uh, so you know what? Your job, mostly just to flank. And stay out of close quarters. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> I, I, you know, I honestly wish I could find a use for this thing. You know, it seems, it, it doesn't even seem good in theory. You kind of just look at the damage numbers. It's like, oh look, you're doing 20 damage. Oh look, I just hit him. It's like going four, four, four mini crit, four bleed damage, and uh, and I'm gonna unfortunately die. Oh well. What can you do? You know, I honestly, I don't know about the the pocket pistol anymore because it, it seemed like a good idea in theory, but that negative fifty that negative fifty percent damage is a it's a big number. And, and as I said, they have the ability to uh, basically uh, they don't even have to hit you; they can just uh, detonate in midair. So, you know, it's honestly up to you. Same problem. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't you know I wouldn't roll it. it. You know what? I think I think what would be a good combination is if you insist on using the Sandman, you can I guess use you can, I guess you can use it to get get your damage back. Uh, sorry, get your life back because you lose like 15 health or something by using the Sandman. Which by the way, I guess I'll roll that now. I might as well. So Sandman, Babyface, Blaster, and Flying Guillotine. And now I go slow as fuck. Okay. So these ones. Uh, th I basically, you run at like really slow speed, but as you shoot, as you do damage, it doesn't matter how much damage, as long as you do some kind of damage, you get, begin to gain speed. And once you gain that, once you gain that crit critical mass, you get, you go actually really fast. And the engineer has the uh, mini crits. I'm not quite there yet, actually. I'm, I'm now going faster than the normal scout would. However, if I jump, I'm gonna reset it. It's a scatter. It's it's a regular scatter gun, otherwise. And so with this, I go really fast, and uh, I right now have the Sandman flying guillotine. And the guillotine does from long range. It does mini crits. And if I stun someone and then hit it with the guillotine, I'll do a full crit. And that does a lot of damage. Uh, it, it's actually really nice. Uh, but, however, it's, uh, oh, there's the capping our point. I'll oh, lose. But don't worry, I'll go fast. You can see, you can tell how much the fire damage actually made a difference there. Uh, with the, with regards to the 50%. So you'll get a full crit on it. Uh, however, I don't really buy into that a whole lot. Because I, I still, I don't like losing the health. That's the problem. This is some server with, uh, advertisement. I'm not going to consider putting on MOTDs because I don't need to watch adver uh, advertising. So I'm just showing you the baby face blaster because it's a 
it's a weapon, basically. Uh, it's not... I, In my opinion, the, the speed bonus isn't really good if you can't jump around. And the, the fact that you go, walk so slow as it is. Because the whole point of dodging is you get to jump, you know? You get to jump to dodge if you need to. Uh, I guess... It's a good weapon for, I guess, dueling scouts, because scout dueling is not really about jumping around as much as it is about um, just making it as hard as humanly possible for him to hit the scattergun shots. And jumping usually actually doesn't help with that, because it, it, you become more predictable then. At least in my eyes. Let's just let that pyro get uh, hit by the stickies. That's surprising. Oh, that was a good shot by him. But, uh, uh, that's that's my opinion on it anyways. I'm gonna try and get it one crit today. The thing is, I think the crits are so situational, because it's like... It's hard as it is to get the baseball and then the guillotine. Because in... It's, it's, it's hard to do. It really is. That's why I don't think it's worth bringing along. I guess if you're a big fan of the guillotine and the Sandman, go ahead. I think just the guillotine is enough if you really want to roll that. Um... That's how I that's how I treat it though. Oh, fuck! You fucking took my kill, you fucking piece of shit. I hate you. So gonna guillotine his ass. Oh well. Oh, oh, time to run. I'll let that sniper die. No, I like snipers, they're cool. So, you know, the babyface blaster is great for like, look, look how fast they run around though. But it's still not going to help you against sentries, and it still ain't going to do much more than that. Fortunately, now I'm getting shot at. But I can, I can, I can run as fast as humanly possible. He's just wasting his time running after me because I'm just, uh, I'm too fast for you. But I really don't like that, that health. Oh. Damn it. I, okay, I kind of swung it a little bit too far to the side there. Normally what you want to do is when you're dueling other scouts, you just kind of want to twitch aim a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm rolling here. And so there you go, that's the Sandman, and uh, I think that pretty much does it for interesting... ...interesting weapons that this class has. Uh, I'm not totally against, uh... Oh, let's just go and... Oh, let's go cleaver his ass. That didn't really work. The thing is, I think you give up too much direct uh, damage capabilities, and you give up too much firepower. Like, you give up HP, and you give up your secondary weapon, basically. So, I, I don't think it's... I, I, I wouldn't consider this a very advisable thing, but you know what? You can run it. I mean, it's not the worst thing you do. I think, honestly, the shortstop is worse. <laughs> I missed all my shots and just get the one crit there. I have like all these fucking flying projectiles. How much damage are you gonna take, medic? Thank you. Oh, oh, that's right. I can't even. I can't hit that guy. Oh well. You know what? Yeah, let's go back to something that's more, uh, more my style, which is this. Uh, as for other malaise, the frying pan is probably the most fucking annoying thing you possibly go. So, when did I get this? I don't even know. Okay. Oh, yes, you also have the candy cane, which is like, uh... Whenever you kill something, a small health drops from their body. No matter what you kill them with, uh, you'll get it. Um... My only problem with it is, uh... Mission begins in you, you take too much fire... You take way too much... Sorry, not fire damage. Explosive damage. Because that means you get pretty much killed by, uh, rockets in one hit. So if you like getting one hit by rockets, uh, I guess that's for you. And, uh, this is the most annoying fucking melee in the world, so let me use it on this guy. This game is not very noob friendly, Mission says someone in chat. Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's... It's Five, it's not hard four, to get into it. Three, like, some classes are easier two, than others, one, uh, but you know... Usually all of them require some sort of mastery. I think the easiest ones would be normally like... Oh god. So, I don't know why this guy chose to try and shotgun me. Let's try and... 
frying pan him. You know, I think Scout is one of those classes that can roll shotguns if he wants to. Uh, sorry, melee if he wants to. Like, because he, he has the... He basically has, like, the ability to choose the range once again that he engages from, and if he thinks that he can get behind someone and melee them, hey, more power to you. You know, you won't you won't lose for for Malang, uh, but I think you're definitely overlooking one of the class's greatest strengths, basically. But you know, oh well. Let's get into some class versus class matchups, shall we? Uh, so scout versus scout. Um, scout versus scout is a whole lot of just uh, oh, it's interesting scout duels because you got a you got a pistol, you got a scatter gun, you got a. You gotta land those shots off. And that's why it's a, like, like kind of like a very twitch aimy kind of class. Hey, speak of the devil. Aha. Uh -huh. So you know, I could be, I could be a sneaky little bastard. Like I ran away from that. I lost that fight. I won't even lie. But you know, I'm alive right now, so who cares? Okay, that guy didn't even intend to hit me. And he somehow managed to hit me. Alright, well, whatever. Anyways. Yeah, Scout versus Scout, you know. Honestly, there, you get into the, the Scout versus Scout duels a whole lot. You know, I, I'm getting set on fire a whole lot more than I'd like to be. To be honest. I, I usually don't get set on fire on this much, but it, it's kind of just happening. Um... Oh, well, he's dead now. That's okay. Uh, anyway, scout versus soldier. Um, probably a more difficult duel, but if if you if you catch a if you catch a uh, a soldier out on his own, the scout has the advantage. Actually, the scout is the single best dueling class. What? Did, okay, that guy just ignored me. Uh oh. Okay, I need to help him out. Like, you gotta mostly just... You gotta evade, basically, rockets. That's the hardest part about... Uh, soldier, but, you know, they can just bring out their, their shotgun. So, you know, they're more than capable of holding their own. But scouts will always have the upper hand when it comes to any kind of 1v1. It is the 1v1 champion of the universe. And that's what you do. That's what the scout does. Is He, he takes advantage of that because he chooses the range. He can go in. Uh, sh shotgun at close range, you know, well, scattergun, and I critted him, so. So there's some guy with a razor back. I'm going to go from the other side, because flanking, and also he killed him, and he's also got the candy cane, that's pretty much what it does there. Uh oh. Okay, so yeah, as I said, once again, choose your choose your fights. Actually, me and him have the same idea, but I don't think we're gonna be able to take that. But I managed to hit him with my guillotine. Oh, but I I got a crit off, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> I need to choose some non-crit servers. Uh, so scout versus pyro. Scout always has the upper hand. Um, I'd say at one point that maybe the the scout had the uh, sorry the pyro may have had uh, may, the the scout was almost a a soft counter but with all the unlocks it's it's, it's not the case really anymore uh, and also with the, the all the buffs that the pyro did receive uh, it's just not it's just not the case and if you're looking at some of those damage numbers I get like twenty six and stuff there is a bit of damage spread on the server though uh, so it will not always be consistent unless you decide to play on some kind of comp setup but uh. Because it that that's, that becomes really valuable when you play scout. And I just hit that heavy there. And you know what? We're like roaches. That's what we are. Anyways, I still think you'll be able to you'll be able to kill pyros anyways. Because uh, you're a combat class, and the pyro is more of a utility class. And so you always win. Um, if you if you if you play it, play it right. Uh oh, uh, I'm dead. Got flanked from behind. Uh, 
but yeah, the, the pyro, you know, you can run back to health really quick. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff to pyros that they can't, they really have no control over. Um, as for demo, it is honest to, honest to goodness, you will have the advantage against the demo man as a scout because the demo has no direct fire option. So really the only thing he, ha he has a hope for is if he gets a, a good grenade off and some demo men can't do it, um, some more than others. Oh, that's a shame. He's setting up a sentry in there. Sentry ahead. I can't do much about that. That's what I mean. Once the sentry goes up, what am I gonna do? Nothing. Is, what am I gonna like? What? Like dance around it with bonk? There's, there's nothing I can do. Uh, heavies. Uh, so demo. Yeah, you you basically. All you have to do is avoid a couple projectiles. Um, they will spam choke points and stuff, but uh, you know, depending upon the map, it's not a big deal. This is one of the maps that the scout does excel on. So, it's I can honestly, honest to goodnessly say, you're you're much better off playing something like Gravel Pit or some CP map or something like that. Just get through the guillotine. While I, run. <laughs> I hit someone. <laughs> That's great stuff. Alright, we got that guy too. Uh, against Heavy, Heavy Scouts can peck him apart because Scouts are annoying little assholes. Uh, if you're playing it right, uh, you shouldn't fight uh, a Heavy while you spun up. Never ever fight a Heavy while you spun up. At all. And if you spun up, he's going to chew you apart like he chews up everything else because Heavy is the strongest close range class. Without a doubt. Um, when that minigun is active, it's a huge disadvantage, but when it's, when it's up, it's a huge problem for you. So, uh, I'm gonna go flank right now, because I did see a... And let's go out here. So there I did a little bit of a flank, because this the, he was still looking for me. And I'm, I'm a little slippery little eel. I'm fighting at my range, and I basically won. They, they couldn't even hit me. And big open areas? Uh, Scout's gonna win every time. That's why I love it. Uh, engineer is one of your only counters. Not with the... Only in terms of the sentry, not in terms of the engineer himself. Even though the engineer can kind of hold his, hold his own, uh, it's, it's one of those things where once he gets his sentry up, many or otherwise, it will wreck you every single day. Uh, obviously the mech is uh, not one of your counters, but it's something that you are very capable of picking up. Because all it takes is one very oblivious, uh, one very oblivious, uh, medic partner basically to... What the fuck? Uh, I hate these poking dagger assholes. There we go. Oh, I couldn't get him. With my cleaver. Uh, so, yeah, you are the uh, medic's worst nightmare, because of a quick little slippery scout eel, whatever. I don't even- where- I don't even know where the guy's going. Alright, let's, uh, let's, uh, not switch classes. Let's, uh, go back to my, uh, my atomizer, because that's what I like. So, yeah, the, the, you are the medic's worst nightmare. Uh, that's that's something interesting to note. Uh, sniper, um, even though the sniper can range you, body shot you, he's got a lot of options to deal with the scout. Okay, not gonna fight the heavy. I decided to just throw that in there. Um, the, against the sniper, you are a soft counter to the sniper, believe it or not. Uh, it's, it's because you can easily get a flank on him, uh, and snipers aren't very good at close range. Scouts are the best at close range. Uh, well, only only beat by a spun-up heavy. Uh, and so, that's, that's so you know, if you can get to a sniper, which is usually not difficult to, depending on if you're playing a good map, uh, if you're playing Dust Bowl 32-player instant respawn, then uh, you live in a world of hurt, and uh, you deserve whatever's coming to you. You're not playing actual TF2. So yeah, so you are the you are the counter to a sniper, and you know if they're not using a proper sniper rifle or an SMG, uh, more the better to you. They're gonna have even more trouble uh, atta attacking you, because uh, that's that's what you bring an SMG around as a sniper. If you want to defend yourself against the scouts, uh, that's the only way you'll be able to do it. 
uh, is with the SMG. Oh. Uh oh. Let's go throw the guillotine in there. Honestly, close range, not where I want to be. Last but least, not last but not least, a spy. Uh, you are a quick bastard, and you cannot be, really be backstabbed that easily unless you're going back into a spy. If you get backstabbed, it's probably because either you were standing still, you were moving back into him by accident. Basically, it just came down to a matter of luck or you being stupid. So uh, you counter the spy in a way. Um, it's not a true. It's not a real counter. Okay, I'm gonna now. I'm now gonna engage this guy. There we go. We got him. I wouldn't say it's an actual soft counter, but uh, you he pro he has a lot of options for dealing with you. That poor sniper. Yeah, I feel bad. It's just like you know he wasn't even looking at him. Oh well. You know it's it's one of those things. The the. I feel bad about that. Mission ends in 30 seconds. Oh wait, that still won't even do anything. Uh, yeah, fuck that thing. We don't have to worry about the sentry. It's someone else's job. Let us concern ourselves with uh, killing that pyro that we just saw. See, all he's gonna do is he's gonna run towards me. And why is that guy over here? This guy's gonna lose. Alright, we won. So, you know, the, the spies can't really do much about you, but at the same time, you probably can't do as much about them. Uh, but you can, you can look around for them, shoot your teammates and stuff like that, and once you find a spy, you'll be able to kill them really easily, so. Uh, with that being said, I think I'm gonna leave it off there, and I uh, hope you got some in interesting insight into the scout class, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so, you know what? I'll see you next time. Bye.